Welcome guys back to another video of how to clean your LPS. So I have cl recently cleaned this LPS, but I cleaned it even more. Well, I was off camera, so this is uh, how it looks and how the rust is looking. It's kind of looking good, but it needs to be cleaned more over time. So yeah, so today I'm going to help you guys clean five LPS I have here. You can see three, but the first one I want to start off is with rust, and then I'll go to paint. So you're going to have to go with rust down there. There's some rust. Just take a cotton swab that is clean. For example, do not use this. This is for marks. So you're going to grab a clean swab and dip it in the apostrophe remover and start swabbing. Just go against the head. As you can see, it's coming off. I'll zoom in a little bit more. Just let this focus. Just keep cleaning. Just go around the rim of it. Twist the head and it should come out that dirty. It's a rust gross. Okay, so now as you can see, the head is now clean. There's no dust, but there is marks. Alright, so she does look kind of dirty in the back. So I'm just going to grab a new or the old one, like the one used for the marks. Dip in nail polish remover. And just, yep. Yeah, start cleaning it off. It should start coming off too. Some of it won't come off. It depends what you use on your pet. Some nail polishes do work, some of them don't. I use acid tone. That way the acid goes to the LPS and takes it off. So you can see it's like some dirtiness here. Or it looks like rust. It looks like some rust got on the LPS. So yeah, there we go. A little more in here. Right. Now she has kind of more marks, but we're not going to do the whole entire video of mark in the LPS. You can also take off nail polish with the LPS you want and just keep smearing it. As you can see, smearing the LPS. This one will take a while. This one needs a lot of TLC, tender loving care. Just go against and it should be start coming off. That's not going to really help on this one. But this one needs like dirt cleaning. So dirt cleaning will happen later. And then just here is about a question I got about the eyes. Or this one. This one has a mark on the back and the eyes. So she has like a red mark in her eye. Like right there. Like it's like right there. It's like a mark. And she has like some dust on her. So what you're going to do is take a Q-tip. I would recommend not to do this if you're home alone. You can. Do not put pressure. Go against the LPS's eye. Simply just like that. Just keep doing it. And put, don't put too much pressure. You'll start spreading the eye out. Okay. Now that the paint is going off, it looks better. It's just still there though because I don't want to put a lot of pressure on this pet's eye. So you can see, there. Now it's leaving. And yeah, congratulations. The LPS has a little bit left. Some of them is easier to take off. Like you can just put a glance, and some of them won't come off. As she's seen here, she has like a mark, a yellow mark. This one will be simple. Sometimes you just have to use cotton balls, and it'll come straight off. All I got is with me is Q-tips right now. What you'll need is cotton balls, Q-tips, and nail polish remover, acid tone. I don't know, it's more simpler on my first um, video because I demonstrate all the rules and what you have to do. So, yeah, just clean the LPS off. I think this is a kind of bit of some makeup somebody left on the LPS. Oh, it's coming off. Nice and clean. Uh, these are not freckles. But I like the most freckles, so I leave it there. Yeah. So, here's the last pet I got for you really quickly. It is an LPS Fox. And then the back has like a little mark. Just grab your kind of ball and just wipe it off. Ta-da. It takes three seconds. Three seconds to clean your whole entire LPS of a mark. 
can see the paint. Alright, I'm going to grab another LPS to demonstrate paint remover. So what happens if there's a mark on your paint? Well, it's kind of simple to do. I have some more marks on this flamingo. So if you just clear it out, just take it. You can also take off the eyelashes since it's paint. The basic coat is the bottom. So see, if you look on the bottom, most of the basic coat is around the neck. So right there, the pink, the pink is a basic coat. So you can go over the pink with it and just keep cleaning the LPS slightly and gently. I have shown you guys how to take off paint. Um, this LPS is kind of a little bit dirty. I didn't clean it correctly all the way while doing the first video. See on the ear, it's kind of dirty. So grab a nice cotton swab and just grab paint. Do not smear against it. Just go like this. Give it a glance coat, so you can see the glance coat. Take like a brand new side, just go like that. And it should be coming off, just go in the middle. Again, I repeat, grab this swab, just go against. Grab a fresh swab, or like the clean swab you were cleaning with early. And go like that, and no paint should come off. If you do it wrong, you will get some paint off. Fresh swab, ready? Here we go. Fresh swab, go against it, go grab a new one, or the fresh one, voila. As you can see, there's no more paint on his foot anymore. And there's some on his back, oh. some on his back right here, so I'm just going to grab the swab, smear it, and get the good side, and just go like that. Need to put more on this one. You can rub against it. Just don't rub so hard that it comes off. Unless you're customizing. Okay, now you got a fresh clean LPS. So here, this is what I'm going to do, okay? Sharpie. What do I do if I have Sharpie? As you can see, in his eye, there is a black spot. I kind of got my Sharpie. But here's an example of what I'm going to do with a Sharpie. Grab. If you have an Expo marker or something like this. You could just go, this is like an expo, you could just do this. And I kind of just put too much on it. <laughs> oh well, okay, there you go. See, that's the best part about expo. Just when you grab a Sharpie, just go gently. See, now he has like a fixed eye. As you saw before, it's all you have to do. Also, along with um, some black noses, if you have like a black nose LPS, if I can find, oh, here, example. A black nose LPS. You can grab a Sharpie. As you can see, she has them right there. Just get this. Just dab and da da. Her nose is perfect. You can do that with Sharpie also. Just don't use Sharpie as eyelashes. Unless, like, use makeup. And I just went with you guys, why not? Because this is an LPS I have. She, as you can see in her blue eye, she has like a mark. This is my original one. And I'm kind of afraid, but it's worth the review. And then just smear it. If you have nails, you could just. I'm kind of delicate with this one because this is my real one. And if you do have LPS, you know how valuable they are and just. How much you adore them. Okay, so rub gently. It still won't come off because this is not. <laughs> this is not the thing that has the LPS nail polish on it. It's kind of a long review. Don't go too hard on it. That's kind of better. She has like a little smear, but it looks, she looks brand new. That's all you have to do with your LPS, okay? Any more questions, I'll do a part three. And show you guys, like when I get some new LPS and they're really rusty, that's when I'll start doing reviews. So yeah, for now, I'll see you guys later. Bye.